Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This week, if, why do I feel like it's been so long since I made a video? Like, didn't I make one literally last week? Anyway, um, today I am going to um, tell you guys my dream Dancing with the Stars season 31 cast, um, which I'll get into in a minute. But first, I want to wish my amazing boyfriend Isaac a massive happy birthday. Um, he turns 23 today, so happy birthday. I love you and I miss you. Um, but before I get into the, my dream Dancing with the Stars 31 cast, I want to show you guys what my boyfriend gave me, because I got, I just got this in the mail yesterday from him. Um, so I'm not gonna, I'm showing the back of it because I'm not gonna show, like, his address or anything, because people can be creepy. Um, I know a lot of the people that watch my videos aren't really creepy, but I don't know. Someone could be watching this video, and if I show their address, they'd be like, oh, I'm going to go, like, attack them. Like, I'm going to go attack Brianna. Like, I don't want that. So, he gave me a graduation card. I'm not going to read what's in it, because um, that's more between me and him, although it is very sweet. Um, love it. Um, he gave me two pictures of us. Um, but if you guys want to read some of it, you can just check out my Facebook. I have it posted on there. But I'm just not going to read it on YouTube because I feel like it would be, it should be just between me and him. Anyway. Um, then he gave me, this one was the Easter gift. So, not my Easter gift, graduation um, card. And then he gave me a couple things for Easter. A little letter. Um, I actually have his Easter gift on my bed right there. Um, and that's ready to be sent. I'm probably going to send that Monday in the mail. So, um, he also gave me, and he wrote, he stuff a I love you sticker on all of these things, which is so sweet. I love that. Um, a chocolate bunny. And then he gave me some peanut M&M's. And then lastly, he gave me a Fredo caramel. Do you guys say caramel or caramel? I say caramel, but yeah. Yeah. Can't wait to eat all of that. Love it. And thank you so much. So shout out to my amazing boyfriend, Isaac, and a happy birthday. I love you and I miss you and I hope to see you very soon. So without further ado, I'm just going to jump right into my Dancing with the Stars 31 dream cast. Um, so if you guys didn't know, Dancing with the Stars was on ABC. Right now, there has been 30 seasons already obviously um in all 30 seasons um it has been airing on abc which is on channel two i think for me um but i found out what was it like a month ago or something um that the show is leaving abc for the next two seasons so season 31 and 32 are already confirmed for this year and next year so if you guys didn't know, Dancing with Stars is, about a show, is a show about where they take celebrities and partner them with professional dancers, and they do a dance every week, and every week, starting week two, they don't do an elimination on the first week, um, but every week, starting week two, there's elimination. And at the end of it, they will announce the winner. Simple as that. Um, but they already confirmed season 31 and 32, like I said, for the next, for this year and next year, the next two years. Um, so we already know season 31 and 32 is happening, but it is, like I said, leaving ABC and they, it's now moving to Disney plus. And there's a lot of mixed reactions about it. Some people are really excited. I personally am already very excited because I've been wanting Dancing with Stars to appear or to be added to Netflix or Disney plus or anywhere so I could watch every season. So hopefully it's not just season 31 on there. Hopefully it's every, literally every past season on it. Because I really want to watch every other season in the past in its entirety. I the first full season the first full season I've watched before was season four. And that is definitely one of my favorite seasons of Dancing with Stars history. So I would really love for season four to go on be added to Disney Plus and Netflix with the whole show. Um so that way I can finally rewatch season four. Because again, one of my favorite seasons. So um, yeah, um, it's been, it's moving to Disney Plus. It's no longer on ABC, at least for the next two years. Um, so, 
And yes, it is like a yearly thing. So they used to have um, a season, I think it was every couple months. So they had a, season, a spring season. They used to have two seasons a year. A spring season, which aired around March month, and they ended around May or June-ish. And then they would have another season a few months after for fall season. So it started in September and it ended around no late November. So they used to do that, but starting, I think it was season 27, they only did it yearly. So only for fall season. So now it's just a yearly thing. It only comes on September to, I would say, late September to late November, which... I have to say, I, I love the show anyway, but I feel like every time a season ends, I feel like it's such a long time to wait for another season, and then when another season starts, you're like, that went by so fast. Like, that break in between seasons went by so fast, but yeah, I really want them to bring back, there are two things I want them to bring back, because as apparently, Tyra Banks is no longer the host, she was only the host for like two seasons. So, I don't know if the judges are returning. That's not confirmed yet. But as of now, apparently Tyra Banks is no longer the host. I think that's confirmed, apparently. Um, are also confirmed is moving to Disney+, Plus. like I said, for the next two years, season 31 and 32. Um, sorry if it sounds like I'm repeating all this. I just wanted to make a lot of sense. But, um, yeah. I really, But I really want them to bring back results shows. So, they had, they used to have a show every Monday and Tuesday. So Monday will be the dances, Tuesday will be the results show when someone got eliminated. I really want them to bring results so res results shows back because I love those. And I also want them to bring back two seasons a year. Because like it feels like it's such a long time to wait. Like I said, when one season ends, you're like, what am I supposed to do for the next like however many months until the next season starts? Like I, anyway, I'm just going to jump right into it. Normally each season has about 15 couples um well some seasons have like 12 some had 13 i think the last two seasons i think have about 15 ish couples so i narrowed it down to about 15 couples so yeah um i only have the celebrities though i'm not listing the professional partners if these were if these were the actual celebrities that are confirmed to be on the show this year i would probably put partners next to them so I'm just going to jump right into it. I have about eight males and seven females, I think. Um, because I didn't want to have like ten females and like five males, because that just wouldn't be fair. I wanted to make it half and half, sort of. So I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, I know like all of these people, obviously, but these are just people that I would love to see on the show this year. I don't know if it'll probably it won't happen, but we'll see what happens. So, the first one, a couple of these I've had on my list for years, but they still haven't been on the show. So, the first one, I, he will always be on my list every single year until he's actually on the show. It is Wayne Brady. He is the host of Let's Make a Deal. Um, I think he's the host of one other show, too. And he was he also won season two, I think, of The Masked Singer. Um, yeah, Wayne Brady. Um, every time I ask my mom as well who she wants to see on the show... She always says Wayne Brady, and I feel the same. So, Wayne Brady is the first one. Number two is Gabby Barrett. She hasn't been on my list before, but recently, ever since I think it was around Christmas time, when I saw her on the CMA Christmas music show thing, I really want to see her on the show ever since then. So, Gabby Barrett, she's a country singer. Next is Jamie Lynn Spears. She's probably best known for Zoe 101. I really want that to go on Disney Plus 2. But yeah. Jamie Lynn Spears, best known for Zoe 101. Number four is Steve Harvey. Um, that's someone else that has been on my list for a while and someone else that my mom really wants to see on the show as well. But he is the host of Family Feud and a couple other shows. Um, number five is Sabrina Carpenter. She was on Disney Channel for Girl Meets World. So she does have a connection with Disney. Um, number six is Charlie D'Amelio. Um, best known for TikTok, obviously. She's the most followed person on TikTok, I think, so... Yeah, Charlie D'Amelio, number seven is Kevin Owens. Now, I was originally, I did this list up, like, ten minutes ago, so this was, like, really, like, on the spot for me. But, yeah. I was originally going to switch Kevin Owens with Big E. Big E was my original pick. 
And it doesn't matter if Kevin Owens or Big, Big E is on the show. I only went with one wrestler, though, because I highly doubt that they're going to put two wrestlers on the same season. Not happening. Maybe from different companies, but two wrestlers from WWE company? Yeah, no. Not, I doubt that'll ever happen. Um, so I only picked one wrestler. But Kevin Owens or Big E, if any of them, if any of them make it on the show this year at any time, uh, I'm satisfied. But I picked Kevin Owens for this reason. And this, I feel like, out of everyone on this list, Kevin Owens will probably be the one that's most likely to be on the show this year. Because a couple of months ago, because last year, The Miz from WWE was on Dancing with the Stars, the real show. Um, not my dream cast, but he was actually on the real show. He didn't win, but he did really freaking good. So, yeah, The Miz was on it. And then a couple of months ago, at a live event, WWE had to post it on Instagram. Um, there was a video with... It was The Miz. I don't know if they... I think they were wrestling each other. It was The Miz versus Kevin Owens, I think, at a live event. Um, and Whitney Carson and Lindsay Arnold from the show Dancing with the Stars, they were in the audience, too, watching. They were in the crowd. So um, The Miz, I guess, invited them. So in between the match, I think it was, um, Kevin Owens did a little dance, and then he goes, that's my audition for Dancing with the Stars or something like that. So if there's anyone on this list that I feel like would make it on the show most likely this year, it would probably be Kevin Owens for that reason. And that's the reason, that's solely the reason he would be on, he's on my list this year. So yeah, Kevin Owens is number seven instead of Biggie. But if Biggie ends up on the show this year too, I'll be more than happy. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Again, this is just my dream cast. So I don't know if any of this will happen, but yeah, and moving on. Number eight, anyone from Why Don't We? I, for number eight, I, specifically put Corbin Besson from Why Don't We? But every single year, the li this will never change until one of them makes it on the show. I always say, every single year, someone from Why Don't We, I want to see on Dancing with the Stars. Somebody from Why Don't We. So I will say that literally every single year until somebody from Why Don't We ends up on the show. No matter who it is. But for this year, for number eight, I put Corbin Besson. So number nine, Angus Cloud. He is best known for playing Fezco or Fez. I call him Fezzy. Because literally, he is my favorite from the show Euphoria. I watched Euphoria. I finished it in March. Something like that. But sometime late March, I finished watching season two of Euphoria. And I'm all cut up now. Now just waiting for about two years for the next season to come out. It's going to be painful as heck. But yeah. Um. Anyways, Fezco. Love Fez. I call him Fezzy, like I said. But... Yeah, I want Angus Cloud on Dancing with the Stars. I feel like he'd actually do pretty well. But yeah. Angus Cloud is on my list again. Best known for playing Fez on Euphoria. Um, number 10, Sony Nicole Bring Us. She is best known for playing Ramona on Fuller House, one of my other favorite shows. Um, and she is actually a dancer as well. So, like an actual dancer. The next two after her are actually dancers too. So because if you guys watch Fuller House, you would know that Sony actually was a dancer on the show. So, yeah. I know a lot of people don't like it when they are actual trained dancers on Dancing with the Stars. Because they feel like it's more of a dis more of an advantage to them and a disadvantage to the other people on the show competing. But, yeah. Sony's on my list. And the next one is Tommy Bracco. He's also a dancer, but he was on Big Brother as well. One of my favorite shows. I love Big Brother. I'm watching it a lot lately. So... And I watch it, like, every single year. I watch BB Can and Big Brother US. Love it. Um, but, yeah, Tommy was on Big Brother, the US version, season 21. I think it was... I can't remember which year it was. 2019 or something like that. But, yeah. Loved it. And Tommy was actually one of my favorites from that season. So, he is on my list. And I've seen a couple of his dances as well. He danced um, on TikTok as well. I follow him on there, too. And he actually is a really good dancer from what I've seen. So I think he'd be a good fit for Dancing with the Stars. And I think he'd go pretty far. So he's on my list. Number 12 is Maddie Ziegler from Dance Moms. So she had, she's been on Dancing with the Stars before, but never actually competed like the entire season for the trophy. But she's been on the show before. Her little sister was on Dancing with the Stars Junior, so it could possibly happen. And yeah, like I said, Maddie has been on the show before. She was in the trio with Alexis and Alan in season 27. So, yeah, Maddie's on the next one on my list. 
And now we're down to the final three. Number 13 is John Stamos from Full House. Um, yes, I did put someone from Fuller House and Full House. And John was on Fuller House as well. Um, for like the majority of the show, I think. So I don't know if that'll happen. Have someone from Fuller House and Full House on the same season. But we'll see what happens. But either way, John Stamos is the next one on my list. Like I said, he is Uncle Jesse from Full House. And Fuller House as well. Um, number 14 is Brian T. I've been wanting to see him or anyone from Chicago Met on the sh on Dancing with the Stars on the show for years. Um, ever since I became a fan of Chicago Med and the entire Chicago PD, Chicago Fire, Chicago Med franchise, I've been wanting to see somebody from the franchise on Dancing with the Stars, so I picked Brian T. Um, I, I would have picked, um, I can't remember his name, um, but he played Dr. Rose on Chicago Med, but I wanted to see him, I would love to see him on Dancing with the Stars as well, but I went with Brian T. after all, so, yeah, he's the next one on my list. And finally, I'm a huge, 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 like, massive fan of Monoskin. I love their music. And so I picked the Tori DeAngelis. I was going to go with um, Damiano David. Is that his name? David Damiano? One of, whatever. I know you, you, you guys probably know who I'm talking about. But I went with the Tori DeAngelis. I mean, I say I'm a fan, yet I don't really know, like, if it's Damiano David. I think it's Damiano, Damiano David. I, I probably sound so dumb right now, but I'm sorry. I, I promise I'm a huge, 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 like, massive fan of Monoskin. But, yeah. I would love to see Damiano on the show, but where I already had, like, eight male, like, eight men on my list, I was like, you know what? I'm going to pick Victoria. Same band, just different person. So, I went with Victoria D'Angelis. So, yeah. um, That is my list. Like I said, Victoria DeAngelis is a singer, one of the members of Monoskin. Love her. And again, they make amazing music like Begin, um, I Want to Be Your Slave. So good. I would love to see. There are a couple people that didn't make the list that I would love to see on the show too, like Billy Eilish. Um, I can't remember who, like what his name is, but he played Jackson on Fuller House. Um, I would love to see him on the show too. There's a lot of people I would love to see on the show, but I only narrowed it down to about 15. But trust me, there's so many more. So that is it for this week's video. Um, it went a bit longer than I expected it to be. I thought it was only going to be about 10 minutes. But what can you do? I ramble a lot. I'm sorry, but that's just me. But yeah, um, if you guys enjoyed this week's video, give this video a thumbs up. And subscribe if you'd like to see more content from me. And I will see you guys next week for my Backlash, WrestleMania Backlash predictions. Because that's on May 8th. So next Saturday... Um, I will make that video, hopefully, if not next Friday, sometime next week, I'll do my WrestleMania Backlash prediction, so, yeah, bye guys.